I'm gonna do a counting collection today and each one of you gonna get a group of objects and so you'll be counting those. So we're gonna read the objectives together. Okay, ready? Begin. We will estimate the number of objects in a collection. We will make decisions with our Nice job. Counting collections helps students to learn different ways to count rather than just counting by ones, counting in ways that are more efficient, maybe by fives, tens, twenties. So I want to first show you some ways that you might count your objects. So here are some cups and here's my puzzle pieces. My partner and I can decide the best way to count these. So I might decide to put them in groups of ten. So I'm just going to count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And then I'm going to put that cup to the side because it's done. And then after I have all of my cups, that's when I, me and my partner and I will count them. What are some ways to record this? Like if I just group all of these in groups of ten, what are some ways I could record it? Can you quickly come show us up here? How would we record? If I group all of those puzzle pieces. Wait, so you count it by tens? Yeah. I count it by tens, yeah. You could, you know, just do dots, or maybe you could just put ten, and then a plus sign. So Aureli said you could either do ten dots in a circle, or you can just put a circle and label it ten plus mm -hmm. ten plus ten until you get done. Yeah. Any questions about that? All right. Okay, you guys can get your collection. Two thousand. Fifties. Fifties, just like we said. So just grab a handful yeah. and try to fit 50 in one. Um, 10, 30, 31, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, how they're keeping track of their objects, the ones they've counted, making sure they're not counting them twice. When you put them in your cup, how are you counting them? Are you saying one? So you're putting them in groups of 50s? Why are you putting them in groups of 50s? Because we thought it would be a quick way, because all we have to do is be at 50, 100, 100, 50, 200, 250, um, 600, 300, and it'll be a more of an efficient way. More efficient way? So if you're counting by 50s? How are you guys grouping yours? By 10s? You have to be able to work well with your partner to be successful at counting collections. You have to be able to agree on a way to count. I saw two of my girls. They had green cards and they had purple cards. And so they shared the responsibility. One girl would count the purple cards and another student would count the green cards. Is that a group of ten? And then what do you have? Two leftovers. So what should we do with these two? Um, she okay. has eight and um, um, this is two, so eight plus two is ten. Wow. So what could we do with this eight plus two is ten? What could we... We can put them together. Okay, where is the eight? Yeah. Is that your group of eight? What should we do with these? Sarah? We should do that when um, we should count uh, the tens and then we should make these two last. Wherever um, number we land on, we're going to count by ones. Okay, so you're different strategies, but both of them are correct. So, so I'm going to let you guys decide which one you're going to do. All right, awesome. So I would say just keep these out of the way so you'll know. And then go ahead and count your cards. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. 
students are understanding how not only to count, but they're also learning how to record and how to add their collection. Okay, now I'll draw a circle and put 50. Draw nine of those, and then at the last one, there's 79. So 50. And now add 50 plus 50 equals 100. So now add these hundreds by 100 plus 100. How did you group these? By 50s. Can you tell me how you added these? So count these to me. 50, 100, 150, 200, 200, 205. You want to try it again? You said 50. 100, 250, 200, 200, 255. Where did you get 250? Five from. Yeah, five. And this one was 250, and then there's one with five. Oh, so this one has five in it. That's awesome, guys. So Jason gave me permission to share his. When he counted them, he got 255 pieces. So his representation, he grouped them in groups of what? Jason, what did you group them in? 50s. So why did you group them in 50s? Because, because I thought it would be, it would be more easier to count. Okay, so he thought it was going to be easier to count, and Olivia said, a lot, she always uses the word efficient. So he grouped them in 50. So this was a cup, 50 plus 50, and Kai, you can double check and make sure this is correct because you did it with him. Another 50, 50, 50, and then one cup had five pieces in it. So if you look at this one, that shows five pieces. So he added them up, and if you look, he skip counted by 50s. And I want you to skip count with me by 50s. Ready? Think. Begin. 50, 100, 150. The satisfying part of teaching for me is just coming here every day and having the opportunity to just look at my students grow. Third grade, I just feel like they learn so much in just 10 months. I just don't want to let them go.